said the flight was late. We waited one hour late. It's cheap, yes, but come on. Welcome back to another episode of Air Passenger Freakouts. Today's episode is completely insane. We have two people absolutely losing it in the airport and making such a big scene through delayed flights or just straight up missing their own flight, lol. So believe me, mate, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this one. Quickly before we get into today's video though, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also leave a comment down below saying air passenger freakouts and I'll pick one of you in the next video for a shout out, mate. Oh, no. Wait me a second, sorry about this. So our first angry people of the day is Johnny Bastian and Philippa Denary, who are over from Geneva on holiday when one of their pushchairs, one of their children, gets broken in transit. Now, if I've learned anything over these 23 years of my life, it's how angry a pregnant woman can honestly get. And we're all about to find out on this next clip. You want me to be realistic? I can be really realistic. I can, I can come on the other side and I'll break your computer, you'll see if you... No, it wasn't deliberate damage, it was an accidental damage. I'm here for one week and I have a push chair that's broken. Do you think I'm going to carry my baby all, all around for one one week? Or are you going to come with me and you carry my baby? No, you're being unrealistic now. I'm not being unrealistic, I'm sorry. You are. I'm pregnant actually, huh? So although the man has uh, threatened to come over there and break the man's computer, believe it or not, this is actually pretty tame for now. Until the woman says, I'm pregnant, huh? And this, boys and girls, this is when it gets pretty dramatic. Start processing your claim. We're processing. We need a push chair. I'm pregnant. He's a baby. He's one year old. He's not going to walk the whole week, no? Come on. I'm, re I'm no. being no, no. Why? I'm being, I'm being realistic now. Why is just? I'm, I'm pregnant. I will speak to you in five minutes. Once no, 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 no. In your five minutes. We are standing here. That's what I'm, I'm pregnant. Speak to you in five minutes. I'm pregnant. I will discuss this with you further I'm in five minutes. I'm pregnant. Further. Okay. You're being no. very rude. And at Luton. Johnny and Philippa are still pretty angry. The only thing I can really look at at this point is just how happy the kid is about the whole situation. But people at EasyJet, their life is not about to get any easier. Spoken here and there. Mm -hmm. We have handled it like pigs. Okay. You know? My only recommendation is, and I put comments in the book, and we've, there's, there's some places nearby that are still open where you can purchase a, a pushchair. Do you have the cash for that? I don't have. I don't have the facility here to be able to make that provision so to give you cash. If you keep receipts and writing, I'm sure they're not kind near Okay. So you I want me to buy a push chair? This is this is 250 pounds. Just that. Okay. Let me just see if you've bit. got anything that will keep you going in lost property. That might be an option. Like that. Now it is quite annoying when airlines do this, where they break something, they can't replace it straight away, especially something that the couple need very quickly to be replaced. And they say to you, for you to go and buy it, so you're using your holiday money and telling you to just keep the receipts and then they'll put it in a process that normally takes two or three weeks to go through. But at the same time, I understand this isn't really this guy's fault. So he's probably going off now to just take a little bit of a walk to get away from everything, going to lost property and gonna try and find them a push chair for little baby Jaden. Sometimes people that, that um, leave items behind and don't collect them are put in here. So I'm just seeing if there is anything suitable um, that maybe they could use whilst they're waiting for their claim to go through. Uh, it started badly. I mean, uh, it's, we it's wanted, to, have, we wanted to, have to go to town this afternoon to go for a round, you know, and he's tired. He, he woke up very early today and uh, we have to to walk with all that, I mean, it's... Then luckily, the EasyJet assistant comes back with some good news. He finds a push chair, mate. But the big question is, will baby Jaden like it? This is the only one that we've got. I don't know if that's gonna be of any use to you. Uh, does it go back for him? I don't know, I, think, I don't know to be honest. I think maybe so. It's clearly not as expensive as your one. That's all right. No, it's, it's not about the price. Uh, managed to find them a pushchair that was suitable for them to use in our lost baggage department that was left unclaimed. There you go. Mission of success. To be honest, I didn't think they were going to be that easy. I thought they were going to look at that and say, my child is not sitting in that. But it's a happy ending, mate. And to you, Merry Christmas. Now, unfortunately, in this next clip, things don't really turn out that well. It's the same person working for EasyJet, but just a whole lot worse. And instead of dealing with just two angry passengers, he has to deal with a whole group of really, really mad people. Now all these passengers are going out for New Year's Eve and they're all looking to go to Barcelona to go and celebrate the new year. 
But unfortunately, as uh, which is always the case, the flight has been cancelled and there's no available flights until after New Year's. Let's see how well the passengers take that. We've just been told that the Barcelona flight's just been cancelled now as well. And these guys have been waiting here since about one in the afternoon. It's now nine o'clock. This has got to be the worst day that I've ever had here. Crazy. OK, passengers travelling to Barcelona, there are no more seats until the 1st of January. You I just definitely feel as if moments like this just make him want to just leave this job. If it wasn't for all those free air miles you get working for EasyJet, he would be out of those doors quicker than you can say flight cancelled. Now he has the enjoyment of talking to each passenger individually, or should I say just get shouted at by each passenger individually, one by one. As you're about to see in this next clip, there's some passengers a little bit more angry than others. Let's see if you can spot them. I have to be in Barcelona tonight. I if it's not tonight, to tomorrow, tonight, we don't care. We have to be in Barcelona. Can you let me know whether you'll be refunding the transfers, the other end, and the hotel? I can't say that. Going from I can't. Why can't you say that? Because I don't have that information to it. give. We don't have that information well, what do you to mean give. You don't have it. Someone's got it. No, there's a complaint procedure in place. I'm what we're recommending. Procedure, mate. What? We want to get to Barcelona what? tonight. Jesus Christ. Whose dad is this? Just looks like the English version of Hitman, to be honest. What we're recommending is you keep your receipts and writing. That's the complaint procedure. Keep your receipt and writing right into it. To our customer support Stay unit. Else, that print. To our customer support that unit. Stay else, okay. You've cut that pint out deliberately. I've checked Gatwick and Stansted and now all his destination. Good to me. I got the money to get there. There's children around. Can you just Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I got the money to get there, mate. I like how he just apologises for swearing, looks at the kid like dead in the eye and just proceeds to just swear again. <laughs> Who is this man? Like honestly, it's amazing. And believe me, it gets much worse than this. Okay, you need to tone the language down. Okay, well where are you going to get me a Barcelona before tomorrow? I can't. Why not? Because there are no more services. Why not? There's no seats. Why not? There's no seats. Why not? There's no more seats. Why not? Good luck. It's not an answer. It's not Sorry. good enough, mate. It's not good enough. Why, 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 Oh my god, is that Frodo? Please, come on. I'm begging you, please. We need to get Frodo to Barcelona tomorrow to destroy the ring. I feel like cases in like this, they should just buy them new plane tickets on different airlines. But I guess that would probably be too simple of a solution. To be tomorrow in Barcelona. So, well, it's your responsibility to find a flight for us. Excuse me, what's that? Is that an agreement with you? Yes. Are you going to honour it? I'm, I'm, it's I'm agreement. Trying to help. I'm trying to no, help you're not. You. You're just saying you've got all nothing. I'm, all I'm doing is passing the information. So yeah, what information? You've got nothing. I've got an agreement with you, and you've broken time. it. Okay. Yeah, you've broken it. What's you going to do about it? I'm acting as a representative. Yeah, on you're doing great. All you're saying is you've got nothing. I've okay. got an agreement in front of me. I'm to quit. Okay. Well, where is it? If Getting angry at me is not going to help the situation. Sorry. I can't. I can't pull planes. What's the point of you sitting there and doing nothing then? I'm trying to transfer people. Does anybody want to be transferred for the first of January? Lots of seats. Well, that's not good after New Year's Eve, isn't it? You stupid bird. Now, if you're like me and you learn about new words every day. I, I've typed up the word Burke on Google, so I've saved you the trouble, and it means stupid person in English. You're welcome. You better like the video now. That's all. That's all I'm saying. It is pretty hilarious, though. Like the guy working at EasyJet being like, "Well, I tell you what, I can do, guys. You're probably gonna be quite happy with me." Uh, after New Year's, yeah, we we can all we'll give you a flight then when everyone's going out for New Year's. Not really much help. Just give me a reason. Is it because it's, people? It was due can't to work? it was due to weather. It no. Was due well, to you get that Girona at three hours earlier out of here today. You went to Girona today three hours earlier. So I told you to get the f***ing Barcelona. Okay. It's 20 minutes away. You're telling me there's a 30 foot snow drift down there? Now, to be honest with you, I'm not very good at geography myself, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Barcelona is a little bit longer than 20 minutes away. Um, you know, but uh, maybe wrong. England is notoriously bad, though, when it comes to bad weather we, we don't know how to handle it at all there could literally be a little bit of snow and well we basically shut down the whole country <laughs> it's, it's pretty it's pretty bad like around christmas time i went to canada 
and they had so much more snow there. And all they really did was just de-ice the planes and everything was working perfectly fine. So I don't really understand why we can't just do the same, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? Guys, run away. Run away. He's summoning spirits. Run away. Exactly, mate. <laughs> like other guys just agree, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, mate. Exactly my thoughts. He has no idea what he's saying. He could literally be insulting the guy sitting down. He's just agreeing with him. Amazing. Why do I go down? My hands are tied. No, they're not tied, mate. I've else. got sleep tonight. There's nothing else. No, I've got sleep. I've got sleep, mate. Okay. Okay. What you got to do about it? I can't it? do anything here Why for not? you because I've got nothing that I can do. Well, what's the point of you being coming down then? Okay. Oh, like you are a waste of time. Got some flights to Malaga oh, tomorrow. Oh, fantastic! Malaga. Any other place? Oh. Girona. Yeah, it's Malaga. Girona, Madrid. Girona. I mean, Malaga is Malaga far, far What about Girona? Girona, oh. they're telling us there is no stop anywhere in this country of EasyJet to get us little crowd to Barcelona for a New Year's Eve celebration. Well, I don't know, but that's pretty appalling when you look at the so-called standards of what EasyJet say they claim to have. It is appalling. Adios, amigo. Pratt. Oh, my, my bad. My bad, guys. Turns out he actually, he's fluent in Spanish. I, I didn't, I had no idea. But luckily, they all got transferred to the next day's Madrid flight, where they all flew happily and got there all on time. Another happy ending for EasyJet. Just. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you did all enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, leave a comment down below saying, Air Passenger Freakouts, LOL. And I'll pick one of you for a shout out in the next video. Anyway, boys and girls, I'll see you all in the next video.